Hey guys, I got my coffee, I got my vape, let's talk a little. This is an afternoon coffee with Phil. You'll probably be getting this in the morning because I promised that I would have these out on Wednesday and if there's any chance, I'm gonna do it. Uh, you like my new cup? This was given to me by my, my nephew, James. I love it. It's from the Rainforest Cafe. So let's take a sip. So Phil, why are you so dirty? <laughs> Well, let's just say my day has not turned out the way I expected. So what do you do when unexpected happens? You have things all planned out, you've been planning for a while, or you're expecting a certain result and you're really getting excited about it, or you just planned your, your day to go a certain way, and then all of a sudden things change in the spur of the moment. <laughs> do you get all pissy and pouty and just throw up your hands and say, I give up, I can't do it, it's too hard? Um, or do you just push through and just say, isn't that interesting and move forward? Well, that's what I, that's what I try to do. That's what I, I do uh, more times than not. That is, that's my goal and that's what I achieve. But then again, you get days like today where I have the third option. The third option is kind of a mix of the two. <laughs> your, uh, your emotional reaction um, is little more, less than calm. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've said it before, if, I, uh, if I've got to, uh, you know, if, it, if something hits me hard, um, unexpected, sometimes I just give myself a certain amount of time and I just throw a pity party. I, th I throw a tantrum. I'll, uh, you know, whatever. But then, it's you got to move forward. If you don't move forward, you're standing still. And as I've said before, you're never standing still. You're always going backwards if you're not moving forwards. So this is the way my day began. I uh, was going to do my coffee with Phil. Going to take another sip. But I had to run out real quick. And when I ran out real quick, real quick, the van that I use for sourcing for all my business, and that I'm going to be using this weekend for the uh, the Nashville reseller gathering, got um, a, a check engine light came on. Now I don't normally just freak out when that happens. That could mean a million different things, but I have to say I, I was getting a little stressed. So when I came home, I put my little scanner on it, and it threw a code that was basically a fuel filter oh that's no problem I can knock that out like that and I'll be on with my day went to the parts store got the parts I needed I got on YouTube to make sure that this particular vehicle didn't have something unique about it and it kind of did I need a special tool bought the tool bought the filter fuel filters are probably one of the easiest things to fix on a car now granted they can be really really messy but they're real easy. They take 10 minutes tops. It takes longer to get your tools out than it does to do it. So I got everything all ready to go, got everything out, changed my clothes and uh, crawl under, un underneath it. And guess what? Ford, you gotta love Ford. Could have been a really simple job, but instead of putting the fuel filter in a nice place where you can get to everything and you can get to it with that little special tool, um, they put it in a place that's behind and underneath all the stuff and not only that they put it in a place that they had to put all this protective shielding around it to keep in case it leaks to keep gas from from uh, dumping all over the exhaust exhaust manifold which could be a major problem so uh, <laughs> instead of being the five ten minute job it took me a while to do it took me a while to figure out I actually had to take a break. I took quite a few breaks. When it, when it got to the point where I was just getting really, really frustrated, I stopped, took a breath, um, checked my YouTube videos again, 
and went back in there. And what happens a lot of times when I hit a brick wall and it doesn't seem like I can I can actually go any further and it, and it got to the point there was one one fuel line that I just couldn't get to. I couldn't couldn't get the tool in and not only that I dropped the tool down into the frame of the car. <laughs> And it's not uh, it's not magnetic because you do have those magnets that you can pick things up, but for some reason they they didn't make this magnetic, and so I had to get my big old giant hands and fingers in it to get it. Um, so Myrna was making lunch. I decided to to clean up, um, eat lunch, and just take a break. And I'm glad I did. I came back. It took me a little bit longer, um, but but now it's done. It's it's something that I won't have to do uh, for a while. And that's why I'm all messy. I got, I was crawling underneath the, the van and I had junk falling in my eyes and my contacts and messy. I'm not a very clean mechanic. <laughs> not at all. And also, uh, one of the biggest things that frustrated me is I've, I've worked on cars since I was 18 years old. I actually had a business where I did air suspension systems on Lincolns and, and uh, Continentals. Uh, but I just can't physically do the simplest thing anymore uh, without suffering from it. I'm gonna I'm gonna suffer from it today. Luckily, I've got I've got a couple of days before I, I have to be 100%. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot anymore, and that really drives me freaking crazy. Because that's always been a, a pat myself on the back that I can always work on the cars. We don't have to spend the money. I can diagnose them. No big deal. So that was that was the thing. But I pushed through, got it done, and here we are, coffee with Phil, and you're gonna get this on time. Now, that's not yay, Phil, you know, um, because I've got a really good friend whose uh, family is going through a lot worse, unpredicted stuff. But you know what I respect so much about them is that they're doing it the exact same way. They took some time to, to, uh, to deal with their emotions, and made a game plan and they're moving forward and they're going to be successful and winners um, when it comes all, all comes said and done so it, it could be the smallest thing it could be the biggest thing and you know everybody's tolerance is different it depends on the day it depends on what the mood you're in it depends on what else you're having to deal with at the time um, but and 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 you don't have to be uh, Tarzan where you just automatically just push through everything and it doesn't matter. You don't, nothing bothers you. You just keep, just plow through everything uh, because that's that's just not normal. Um, so, you, you know, what I have to do is I just have to gauge it. And is, is this something I can deal with the emotions later? Is this something that doesn't really matter? Is this something that it's more important for me to deal with somebody else's emotions than mine? Or is it just, just plow right through it and make a split decision and you know what if you've got to take a break and you've got to throw a fit do it don't cause anybody else any problems if it doesn't as it doesn't cause anybody else any problems I have an amazing wife I, I don't throw things <laughs> it sounds a lot worse than it was I don't really stamp my feet I don't really throw things um, I may cuss a little bit I say some really colorful colorful words um, and I have a, 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 an amazing wife that um, when I'm like that, which is not very often, she is just very patient and very loving and very supportive. And she basically says the same thing. It's like, Phil, you know you're gonna figure it out. You always do. So anyway, let's take another step. I haven't timed this, so I don't know how long this one is it'll probably be a short one because i've got to take a shower i can't stay like this i i could stay like this to halloween though this would make a pretty good costume huh i definitely scare, scare the kids so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe share comment hit the ringy dingy thing so you're notified next time i make a video and as always no matter what tune life plays you always find your groove thanks for hanging out with me again thanks for chatting y'all come back and see me